Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve. Today we'll go through legal problem 1556, Thalon separator. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward problem, but I'd like to quickly go through this to help people better understand how we can manipulate either strings or integers. And the just string builder in Java operations, these very commonly used operations. All right, let's take a look at the problem first. Given an integer n, add a dot, they call it the separator, as the as the thousands separator and return it in string format okay so given the given input is an integer for example 987 and the output is a string 987 because this one is only three digits so there is no separator needed but for the second example one two three four so it use a dot as the separator because it has more than three digits so one dot two three four and so for this one, the third example, it has nine digits. So what we have is one, two, three, dot, four, five, six, dot, seven, eight, nine. All right. Last example is trivial. Um, very straightforward problem. So how we can approach this problem in the... So different languages have different ways to solve this problem. For me, I'm using Java. What we can do is that we can use a string builder. And we, we convert the integer into a string first. And we can... We go through, we iterate through this string, one character after another. And whenever we, we can count the characters that we have traversed through so far, whenever the count is a multiple of three, then we'll just add one more dot in the string builder. And, and also we'll reverse, we'll reverse the string builder before we could return. And before we return, we want to check if the very first character in the string builder is a dot because in that case, it's likely, it's possible. In that case, we'll just remove that first dot, right? Because if we have a dot in the very beginning of one, prior to one, it doesn't make any sense. So we'll just remove that. That's just the entire algorithm. Now let's, now let's put it into actual code. Uh, so first we'll have, we'll just call it a new string. We'll just call it a string. Uh, actually integer string and yeah. now we'll have a string builder and so we'll just go through from the last one to the first so I start from string length minus one and we'll have another variable we'll call it we'll call it J start from start from one this is the this is just the counter that helps us count how many characters that we have gone through whenever the count is a multiple of three we'll just insert a dot into the stream builder so as long as i is greater than or equal to zero and j is a j we don't really care about j so we'll just keep decrementing i and keep incrementing j okay so the first step what we'll do is We'll just append this one, uh, string char at i. We just append it. So, and then we'll also increment j. And then we we'll check if j modulo 3 equals to 0. That means this is a multiple of 3. So we have appended 3 characters on top of, on this string builder already. In that case, what we will do is that we'll just, what? We will just append. We we'll just append a dot this separator to this string builder. So after this, then we should be good. We have traversed through the entire given integer. So after this for loop, we have checked every single character in this given integer, and then we can form the result. So the result is going to because we start from the end, we start from this one. So in the stream builder is going to be four, three, two, dot one. So we are going to reverse this. SB reverse reverse and then two string. So before we could return, it's likely it's possible that one, two, three, four, five, six, dot seven, eight, nine, and there is there's a dot prior to this one, right? So in that case, we want to check if result char at zero equals to dot if that is the case result is going to be result substring starting from one 
So we want to cut the very first one off. And then we can just return result. All right. Now let me hit a run code. OK, run code X is accepted. Now let me hit submit. Cool, it's also accepted. This is just one way to solve this very simple and straightforward problem called Fallen Separator. It's just to give us a chance to practice the stream manipulation or integer manipulation um, in different sorts of languages. I'm doing it in Java. You can do it in whatever language that you're comfortable with. So this is about this problem. If you think this video helps you understand or just uh, you, if you enjoy all of these lead code tutorials, just do me a favor and hit the like button of this video. That's going to help me out tremendously. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have accumulated quite a lot of lead code tutorials, algorithm, data structures, different sorts of videos to help people better prepare for tech interviews or just enhance your computer science fund fundamentals. If you like that, please feel free to check out my other videos. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in just a few short seconds. Thank you very much for watching.